Good morning. It is 540 here on your Wednesday. Lately, every day is a fight for their homes for some residents living on Hawaii's Big Island as the Kilauea volcano spews lava, rock, and ash. You're going to love this one. CNN's Scott McLean reports on their efforts. It's hell on earth in a place that's heaven to so many. In just a matter of hours, a virtually dormant fissure suddenly woke up, spewing fountains of lava down a molten stream, destroying everything in its way. It's all a guessing game. Bruce DeKell owns two properties on this piece of paradise. He may soon have just one. We're ready to pretty much leave there in, in 10 minutes if we have to. And it's say goodbye to everything. It shows me the power of God, the power of our earth. Dona Mueller's home is just a few hundred yards from this molten sparkler popping, groaning, and sometimes violently exploding. Oh, wow. See what I mean? At first, the constant earthquakes made it impossible to sleep. Because I couldn't stand it anymore. When this fissure opened up, it was impossible even to stay. You can see it blew out this window, glass all over. As the lava flow quickly approaches, her family has come to salvage her valuables and go. She's not taking much with her. There's not much. I can walk away. It's really? stuff. Just down the hill, Daryl Clinton is risking life and limb to protect two homes that belong to friends. A lot of sentimental value, a lot of good family times. As we spoke, his friend Mark was looking out for flying lava, and so were we. The yard is littered with fresh volcanic rock. This lava bomb came and hit right here. Giant lava bombs have broken windows, dented the water catchment pool, and taken out the septic tank. Even just getting from one home to the other is a life and death game of Frogger. Look up and watch him. Keep your eye on him. It's almost like catching a football, but you don't want to catch this football. Clinton has been a quick study on the different sounds of the fissure. The sounds he knows to ignore. You're good, you're good, you're all safe. And the ones that scream, take cover. You might want to step back on this one. Equipped with just a fire extinguisher and a garden hose, he's been spraying down the molten rocks that hit the house. The insides though, the ones that we're concerned about, these ones are the ones that catch the uh, ceiling on fire. It's man versus Mother Nature in a match Daryl Clinton intends to win. Yeah, maybe not a win, it's a tie. At last check, Clinton was injured in his fight against the lava. He was splattered from a fountain, shattered the 57-year-old shin. He was rushed by ambulance to Hilo Medical Center, is in stable condition. The hospital says they expect him to make a full recovery. Remember, it looks like liquid. It's liquid rock. Wow. Broke his leg from one of those splatter oh, yes, shells. This that isn't you were a good sound, Mike. You want to get going on this one? That's it. Unbelievable. Crazy stuff there. Oh, uh, yeah, you're good on this one. That, that poor camera kid's thinking, I am not getting paid enough for this. That's a fact right there. All we have to worry about is raindrops here. That's right. Thank goodness. Let's see how many we have to deal with. Matt?